told you so, and I told you that Gashagwa is being set uh. to burn himself. And he's he, cooking himself. He has cooked himself. Not he's cooking. He's cooked. His goo, his, they say goose. His goose are cooked. Yeah. Yes. He's finished. Yeah. Gashagwa just put him somewhere. Uh, slaughtered somewhere himself. He has slaughtered himself. Defried skinned, himself. Skinned himself. Defried himself. He's no more. <laughs> Didi Nyoro is a deputy president. Uh. Not in waiting. Uh. Operating. Stop calling the children of Mount Kenya Mungiki. Mm -hmm. Seek to unite Mount Kenya mm -hmm. and the rallies around them to be his pillar. Mm -hmm. Then he will be a voice. Mm -hmm. Yes. But now, see, I told you mm -hmm. the, the minor factor, the Mungiki factor, is not an entirely Kenyatta family a factor, mm -hmm. it is a root of factor. Disclaimer, the opinions expressed by our esteemed guest on this show is solely their own and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Plug TV, its affiliates, or the production team. We kindly request our viewers to approach the opinions shared on this show with an open mind, considering them as individual viewpoints rather than absolute truths. We encourage you to conduct further research and engage in conversations beyond this program to form a well-rounded understanding of the topics discussed. Hello mambo vipi karibu kwa mara nyingine kwenye Plug TV your number one entertainment channel kama kawaida I am your favorite host Chief Okuzo tumekuja tena kwa mara nyingine na Apostle Ndura Warwingi <laughs> yes. you have been requesting for him and he is here once mm, again mm -hmm. Bwana sifiwe Apostle Amen uh -huh. I'm good uh -huh. Jesus is still my lord uh -huh. and my savior uh -huh. my protector mm. everything is Jesus and my God uh -huh. And uh, I thank God for you once again. Uh -huh. I'm seeing you. Uh -huh. I was with you last year. Last year, uko. Yeah, and it's a long time ago, mm. last year, November. Yeah. Mm. Uh, God is gracious. Apostle, umekua wapi? Umekua kifanisho kule gani? Kumekua na speculations. Mm. Kuna wewe jamaa, SG Bamasi TV. Mm. Uh, it started just spreading rumors for nothing. <laughs> that I... No, I spoke of warning my Najenga, telling my Najenga, yeah. what you are doing mm. right now mm. is not good. Mm. Uh, you need to reorganize yourself. This is old school. Mm. What you are doing is very old school. We need to do something that will bring people. Now, the generation that we were then, mm -hmm. it is not the same generation that it is now. Mm -hmm. You cannot be able to be the same formula mm -hmm. like Raira. No, Raira uses the same formula he yeah. started when he was in Fort Kenya. Mm. And that's why he has failed. Mm. You see, Ruto just came the other day and uh, he won the election. He's mm. still controlling everything. Mm. Mm. And to remove Ruto will be a, a, a mountain. Mm. Yeah, it's, it will not be easy thing. Mm. But uh, that's not the reason uh, we are here. Mm -hmm. um, I've been there mm -hmm. since the first when um, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't run away as Bamasi tried to portray. Uh, you ran away. I ran away because I want, no, I issued a statement telling me to stop what you are doing. Reorganize yourself, plan, you know, you are a leader, you are good, people, people will like you. Mm. So re replace, reorganize yourself, mm. put yourself to the current situation, mm -hmm. put yourself to the current, uh, uh -huh. current politics. Uh -huh. Don't be, don't be doing whatever you did many uh -huh. years ago. Yeah. Uh, change tact. Uh -huh. That is what I told him. Told yeah. And again, taking people there, they, so many people I saw, they were arrested, mm -hmm. which was so unfortunate again for the government to arrest people. Mm -hmm. This is again, all the thing that used to be done by the DOs. And mm -hmm. of course, Kashagwa is a DO, mm -hmm. a former DO. Once a DO, you are also a DO. Mm -hmm. So again, many people were arrested mm -hmm. and it was so unfortunate for this era for mm -hmm. arrest because of attending a rally. Mm -hmm. It is a, a little bit like uh, whoever is doing so, Kichuake mm -hmm. Yeah, it is unfortunate. Now, me, when I, after issuing the statement, I was had scheduled for a trip mm -hmm. to go and take a leave. Yeah, and I had planned to go to Europe. And uh, that's where I went to Kuji Vinjari. Lakini Apostle Kunawatu wana onilea, why would you go for that trip wakati ambapo kuna hizo commotion za mungiki, the emergence of mungiki, but when issue a statement, why choose that at time? No, I had planned, no. Going to Europe, yeah. you don't just wake up in the morning and go. 
going to Europe is something you had planned for six months because you need money, mm. you need uh, accommodation, you mm. need a visa. Mm. And to get a visa, it has to take you about 30 days. Mm. So it is something you have to plan. Mm. Uh, so it was in the plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I didn't go for Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't go, I didn't have enjoyed the Christmas periods with me because remember on the Christmas day, I had the 1,000 old men. Mm. We shared Christmas with mm. them here yeah, at the yeah. church, church sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And uh, so after that, I had planned to go with my family. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, again, my family refused to go with me because they said they would have wanted for Christmas. Mm. And now going for January, it will not make sense. So mm. I decided to go alone. Mm. Told them, hey, Ninja Denis, then I went to Europe. I was privileged to have traveled to nine countries in Europe. Mm -hmm. I entered through Turkey, mm -hmm. to Spain, to Germany, mm -hmm. Sweden, Denmark, mm -hmm. Holland, Finland, Norway. Uh, France, all the country, no, they are they are close to each other. Mm. It is a journey of two hours, two hours, two hours, mm. and it was good. And um, most of my part was characterized by visiting historical sites, mm. more especially the Catholics, because Europe is entirely dominated by the Catholics. Catholics yeah, and they have so many things that we learn from. Mm -hmm. I was able to go to France uh, to where to Germany, where the cloth is near Frankfurt. Mm. They the, where the cloth of Jesus is, the cloth mm. that he was wearing when he was crucified. Mm. It is in Frankfurt, in some places in Germany there. Mm. I was able to go, I saw it. Mm -hmm. I got a picture I can show you. Mm -hmm. I was able to go to France where he, the cross mm -hmm. that he carried, mm -hmm. it's in, in, in France. Mm -hmm. I was also able to visit uh, Malaga. Mm -hmm. Malaga is in Spain, mm -hmm. where the Roman Empire started. Mm. It started in Malaga. There is a mountain there. They have built a high, a huge altar mm -hmm. by um, the then king and the warriors. They captured the city. The territory Malaga was captured mm -hmm. by the Catholics using guns, not mm -hmm. Bible mm -hmm. guns. Mm -hmm. Not a given. You hit here, you are given. You also give no. That's one of the theory. It was physical war. It was physical war. They used guns. I have photos. I'll show you. I'll list them to you so that you can shit sell these people. Christianity is not foolish. Mm. Yes. And Apostle, what brought me here is uh, what has been happening on the internet and in the government right now. Mm. The last time I was with you, you uh, highlighted some issues that are already happening, including the endorsement of Bindi Nyoro as the next person that will be close to the current president and Gashago will be set aside. I told you so, and I told you that Gashago is being set uh -huh. to burn himself, and he will bring in Dindinyoro to run as a running mate. The next running, running mate for Uhuru, Ruto will be Dindinyoro to who do wink That is in 2027 now? The, whatever time it will come. Uh, but Dindinyoro will be in the picture. It is Dindinyoro who will be the picture. And then a person like Sakaja will be drafted in in a very prime position because those are the people that Ruto wants to take over after him. Those two. What? Is this your own theory, Amani? It is a spiritual perspective way of looking at things. Much, much, much later. What we are saying is, it is now the right time. We are ripe now to lead the country. And God has given us one uh, that is um, uh, favored, one that is acceptable, accepted by the people across the board, across the country. And that is none other than the Honorable Dende Nyoro, now serving as uh, the Chairman, Budget and Appropriations Committee at the National Assembly. And we are saying, let the president, because we love the president, but we know that if he comes with uh, the Honorable Rigadi Gachagua in 2027, things might be a, a little bit difficult for him. But if he comes with Dende Nyoro as a running mate, then I think things are going to be much easier for him uh, because uh, people identify with Dende Nyoro. And he's he, cooking himself. He has cooked himself. Not he's cooking. He's cooked. His goo. His, they say goose. His goose are cooked. Yeah. Yes, he's finished. Casago yeah. just put him somewhere. Uh, slaughtered somewhere himself. He has slaughtered himself. Defried skinned, himself. Skinned himself. Defried himself. He's no more. <laughs> Didi Nyoro is a deputy president. Huh. Not in waiting. Huh. Operating. No way. Remember when Ruto huh. was going to Kasagana? Yeah. 
with the, to go and fulfill that which Kashagwa said that ukikuja hapa utupatia sisi mchere na soda. Mm. Do you remember that statement? Yeah, I remember. And uh, Ruto and Kashagwa went to Sagana mm. Lodge and they stayed for there for three days. When many people from the area were allowed to go to Sagana Lodge, State Lodge. Mm. If you can ask the people around there, mm -hmm. the billboards from Muranga to Sagana to Nyeri mm -hmm. were, were did in your billboards mm. because of coming, welcoming the president. Mm. The billboards were not for the deputy president. The billboards were Dindi Nyoro. Mm -hmm. Did you get me? Yeah, I get you. So why would you put a, a billboard because of a visiting president? I, I, who are you? Uh -huh. Who are you? It was a political statement. Mm. The de facto. Mm -hmm. So Dindi Nyoro, uh, Ishongwa, and Sakaja, mm -hmm. those are the people that are at the heart of the president. Ishongwa does business personal business mm. with, with Ruto. Mm. The Dinyoro does personal businesses with Ruto. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? Yeah. Sakaja, who is the former TNA coming up, those are the people that Ruto want to work with mm. in the next government. Mm. The people who help him mm. change the constitution mm -hmm. to remove the limits. Presidential term limit. Yes. So that he can be like Kagame. Ruto wants to change this nation like Kagame. But don't you feel maybe that's going to help be... I'm telling you his mind. Uh. I'm not telling you what will happen. Uh. I'm reading his mind. Uh. Yeah, Ruto will want to be, have a timeless, uh, a limit, an, an unlimited time of uh. presidency. Uh -huh. That next election he wins, another election he wins, another election he wins. He will muscle out every opposition leader. Mm -hmm. Anybody who can oppose him, he will try to muzzle. But before that, he must change the constitution to remove the time limit. And this time limit can only be removed by him bringing on a motion of mm -hmm. increasing the number of counties. Uh -huh. It is coming. And the, the, the parts can oppose uh -huh. the, num the increase of the number of counties uh -huh. will be given more counties. We, their wishes will be forgiven mm -hmm. so that they will pass it. Wait a minute. Let, let me finish up. Uh -huh. So that they will, the motion will go through, will sail through. Uh -huh. Because if the Kikuyu want, if the Kikuyu land, they want like five more counties, they will be granted. Mm -hmm. So alongside creating the number of counties, mm -hmm. also the, they will discuss the time limits of a governor, mm -hmm. An MP and, the, and president. the president. So as you pass this one because it has favored you, mm. you also pass the wishes of the president. That is where the catch is. Mm -hmm. That is what that's what is in the mind of Ruto and his kitchen cabinet. And do, will that even be successful? It is most likely to be successful. If Ruto won against the deep state, against the Raira. And the, and the Uhuru in the government mm. against the judges, judges who are crying now. Mm. And you see now the judges are, uh, are crying. If you go to the integrity mm. there, all the previous people that were in the integrity there, they have been removed. Mm -hmm. The former, all of them, they are no longer there. A new club, a new group has been taken in. Mm -hmm. DPP, a new group will be given in. Any department that will be an opposition to what Ruto wants, Mm -hmm. will be removed. And uh, what are the downsides of the president increasing the presidential term limit? Removing that You have no option. You have no option because now who wants now? Who wants to be the president? Who is interested? Would you vote? Ruto Road on our back, on our wheelbarrow, the high hopes, where are the hopes now? Not very many people want to vote. Mm -hmm. So, his wishes will go, will sail through because he has he will be able to demoralize everybody who can rise up against him. Mm -hmm. Now the person who can galvanize Kenyans to come together for a revolution, a major revolution, is Raida. By the time we get towards the election, mm -hmm. Raida will be so weak mm -hmm. to even being able to run a, to run up an opposition outfit. Rangos will be there all over. A person like Uhuru, when he will detect and see that he cannot be beat Ruto, 
you will go there because Uhuru is about the in business interests. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, they are the ones running the economy. Mm -hmm. And the number three, uh, you remember when Moi said that he will rule for a hundred years. Yeah. The spirit of Moi still runs the nation. And the spirit of Kenyatta still runs the nation. Mm -hmm. So whoever that will appease the spirits of those two, mm -hmm. We still continue. And the Ruto is smart on that. Remember I told you about the state house? It must be, for Ruto to survive, he must do something mm -hmm. in the state house. They are already doing it. Got Waikiwa Karen. State house ya Karen. Ruto was the real man. The Ruto we vote for him. Ali share state house ya Karen. The man we voted. Ali poingye inyumba. And I've been saying this. Until he demolishes that house, he will not succeed in any way. Much, much, much later. But now. You may have wondered why President William Ruto has been operating outside Nairobi for a while now. Well, it has now been established that State House Nairobi is under construction and will be out of bounds for at least two months from now. They are already doing a new State House mm -hmm. and uh, it is in the news. It is no longer now. Yeah, he's not renovating it. It is not renovating. Uh, no, if they were to say we are rebuilding, building. The, the parliament will be involved, the senate will be involved, public opinion will be brought on because that is a state house. Mm. It's a government property where every person who must be involved in the architectural mm. society, uh, the media, the people, individual, all sectors of life will be involved mm -hmm. to say yes, to assent to it. Mm -hmm. So the easiest way of demolishing because renovation is changing you can change the whole the structures the whole structure yeah and come up with a new structure mm -hmm. by not removing the walls mm. because renovation is only there and the walls will be cut mm. and the other things will be protruding it that is a that's a um a, 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 um a private no, a private what do you say a good term is an easy way Hmm. of doing things without involving without being maybe raising an alarm out there yes but they are putting it down uh. and raising a new state house why are they doing that because he can never make it uh. to the next moves uh. if they cannot remove this state house this state house is a freemasonry state house so that is the whole idea behind the, the whole idea is the removing the altar of the freemason from state house and now him raises his own altar. It is the altar that rules. Mm. The altar. Mm -hmm. You go to Vatican, the altar of Vatican mm -hmm. rules the world through Catholic. Mm -hmm. My church, what you're saying, this is the altar. Mm -hmm. Now I have an influence through the altar. Mm -hmm. It is the altar that take me to Spain, took me to Germany, took me mm -hmm. to where. And in all the places I went, I was seeing to see different types of altars. Mm -hmm. Jesus himself is an altar. You yeah. see, I told you, like, let me come back to Kenya mm -hmm. and take you to KICC. Mm -hmm. I told you KICC is um, an architectural... Um, a symbol of a penis. A symbol of a penis of a donkey. Yeah. What, is, what is the role of a penis? The role of a penis is either urinating... <laughs> Or doing sex. Uh, <laughs> so what is the symbol of that? It's not about uh, the urinating. It's about building a symbol of immorality. Mm -hmm. Immorality brings dissent, brings confusion. Mm -hmm. When people become immoral, mm -hmm. their God gets out. Mm -hmm. It is through immorality that the children of Israel were removed from God. True. So through immorality, the spread of the immorality then Kenya, God vacated from Kenya. And now look at, at the middle of the KICC. There is a symbol, uh, um, a statue of the Mze Jomo Kenyatta. Mm. Mze Jomo Kenyatta is facing where? The parliament, where decisions are made. He's watching over them. Mm -hmm. That is the spiritual connotation of it, mm. which people don't understand. He's watching of what you are discussing. Mm. Then on this other side, there is a grave. Moselium mm. of Mze Jomo Kenyatta. Mm. It's attached to the Senate, where the Senate now is. Uh -huh. there, you normally see yeah. uh, uh, army officers with yeah. uh, ceremonial clothes. Uh, yeah. That they are guarding the body of Mze Jomo Kenyatta, the real body now of Mze Jomo Kenyatta. It's buried there. That is where he is. 
-huh. but it is rumored the, the, the family uh, they exhumed the body they, they removed the body they took it somewhere but that is where it is not officially removed so mm. it is there according to the books of the country mm. now that is where mze is lay and the other mze in form of a stone is watching what the mm. parliament is doing then mm. as he is facing them that is his right his right hand mm. is on city hall mm. and the other one hand is on sharia mm. i want to sh see how power is captured yeah is on sharia that's his left on sharia the right sit hall mm. the back is a spring court mm. so this man controls the country even though he is dead he's dead how does he control the country a governor it's very hard to remove a governor from the seat unless you take him through the process of senate yeah. the court mm. but who kenyatta was able to remove Sonko, yeah. and he put an army officer yeah because he got the power of his father because the father still rules the nation what? in his grave mm. he's guarded and rules the nation his spirit mm -hmm. they said when we were putting our maoni around suggestions around mm -hmm. on how the not the currents of kenya will look like mm -hmm. It was proposed that no portrait of a human being will be, ever be put there. Mm. And they said yes. What they do? They went and brought the, the, the building of KICC and the statue of Muse. You remove the picture, but return the statue. The statue is the altar that controls. The altar that speaks. They're the one who run the economy. What? and they were able and they, for you to capture a nation you name it after you mm. we have uhuru highway uhuru gardens mm. uhuru park kenyatta avenue mm. kenyatta kcc mm. mamangina mamangina <laughs> all these things they are meant to capture jomo kenyatta international airport <laughs> But I, I don't you feel maybe they did that just to honor the, no, the founding fathers no. of the nation. Go read your Bible very well. Yeah. Go read your Bible very well. When David conquered yes. he named this area. Yes. Uh, when Samuel <laughs> did, he named the area Ebenezer. You name it. <laughs> when they reached a place, oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, Gideon, uh. when he offered a sacrifice, uh. he offered a sacrifice of peace and he named the place mm. peace. Mm. Yes, you capture and name. We were not in Africa. Uh. Kenya, Africa was not Africa. Yeah, Af Kenya the one was, who conquered Africa was Kush. Yeah, the one who conquered was his name Africaners. Was Africaners. Yeah, an Italian man, Africaners. He conquered and gave us a name. If I want to conquer, I'll conquer you and give you my name. That's so deep. I never <laughs> saw it that way. Yeah. <laughs> you must conquer. The name Kenya is not for a Kenya. Uh. No. You see, they came and discovered the Victoria. Yeah. Were there no rules before that? There were. And they, were they not human beings to have discovered it? The Victoria, it was the Queen Victoria, had to come and recapture it and mm. make it is her own. That mm. is why you cannot control the waters of Victoria until today. Do you know we cannot irrigate? We cannot tap the water, mm. bring it to the country for irrigation. Why? Because it is treated, there is a treaty mm. between the British, mm. the Britain, and uh, Egypt. Mm. The water of Victoria is used to do farming in Egypt. Mm -hmm. And Ethiopia have tried to divert the water, and they, they say they are going to fight. There will be civil war. Mm -hmm. There will be this country fighting this country. Mm -hmm. They have tried to change, and it has refused. Ngilu, when she was in power, she tried. She mentioned it. Mm. And they... Egypt, the president of Egypt, Hosni Mubarak, <laughs> told Kenya there, mm -hmm. and this is your order there. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> if you want to divert some water so that it can generate uh, power mm -hmm. from uh, the Nile, mm -hmm. they were told there. So, the big these, is these are treaties. Why? Because the queen mm -hmm. entrenched Kenya to become part of her territory. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see. All the coffee sector in Kenya 
the Sassini, the, the, all Ketepa. The, Ketepa, all they are queen's property. They are guard, they are, the, the, the guardians of them are the Kenyatta family. Mm. So, because they captured, go there at the GPO. Mm -hmm. At the GPO where Kenyatta Avenue goes through, yeah. there is a stone, a build, um, a, a monument built there, mm. a square. It's a build at uh, about the height of one and a half meters. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's, uh, the, there are words inscribed there. Uh, yeah, I have seen it. You've seen it? Yeah. That is Queen Victoria. That is Bibirico. It is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah 35. That a highway shall be built. Mm -hmm. And that is where two highways meet. Mm -hmm. Two major African highways mm -hmm. where they meet. Did you know that? No. There is a road from South Africa to Cairo. Mm -hmm. How do we call it? Maybe you tell me. The Great North Road. Mm -hmm. Coming from Johannesburg to Cairo. Mm -hmm. It is the road that comes through the Nyeri one coming up, coming up to Kenyatta Avenue. Mm. Yes. Go look at your map. Go to look at your history. Then there is this Mombasa Road. Mm. It is called a transnational highway. Goes to West Africa. Mm. Yes. That is where those toll roads met. At that stone. Okay. That is the center of the world. Wow. So, um, Apostle, when you look keenly in the current government and in the affairs of this country, you want to say that this nation is currently under the control of the first fathers of this nation. That no, is, not the first fathers. Yeah. It controls the economy of the nation is controlled by Kenyatta family. Pure. Period. Even though the president is different. <laughs> you, life is spiritual. So you mean right the now? The altar that is speaking financially is <laughs> Kenyatta family altar. When they were told to remove the portrait of Kenyatta, <laughs> they wrote the statue of Kenyatta. Why in the note? Why? Why did they would say they wanted to honor him? Why couldn't they honor? Why? They were, we said no. We said no human being. Nothing associated to a human being will be put on a Kenyan currency. That is the law. Go read your law. But they brought it not as a human. They brought it as a statue. A representation. As a and pre you cannot yeah. be able, and the Kenyatta family will never allow uh. anybody to remove the statue of their father. Because that is what controls. If you put an altar in the north, mm. a currency, mm. that altar speaks and controls the currency. So the money, it's theirs. Look at the, the dollar of America. Mm. The dollar of America, previously, it was in God we trust. Mm. They built an altar through the, all the dollar. That's why the dollar was strong. Mm -hmm. Eventually, they pushed their way and they made sure the Freemason put their eye and the triangle. Mm on the dollar so that the representation of the devil can be there that's why now america is crumbling down economically america in 10 years to come it will be no more wow so according to your insights let's just go back kidogo uh you said that the current deputy president no longer has an upper hand in the government not an upper hand yeah. is not a deputy uh -huh. that's a figure of uh, somebody believing to be in a position. So, if you go ask him, he's, he's more of a ceremonial structure mm. somewhere. He's not a president. He's not a deputy president. So, the, the person who has replaced him is Ndindi Nyoro at the moment, right? At the moment, not even at the moment. Even the word go, Ndindi Nyoro. I told you before all these things happened. Yeah, I remember. That the eyes of Ruto is on Sakaja and Dindinyoro mm -hmm. and Akina Ishongwa. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who will make the next government. Mm -hmm. Those are line one of the Ruto government. Mm -hmm. If you're given a chance to advise him, what would you tell him? <laughs> Kashagwa. Mm -hmm. If I were Kashagwa, mm -hmm. I will... Stop calling the children of Mount Kenya Mungiki. Mm -hmm. Seek to unite Mount Kenya mm -hmm. and the rallies around them to be his pillar. Mm -hmm. Then he will be a voice. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
But now, see, I told you, mm -hmm. the, the minor factor, the Mungiki factor is not an entire Kenyatta family a factor. Mm. It is a root of factor. Meant to destroy and... Yes, mm -hmm. Meant to, to bring the Kikuyus uh, become at loggerhead with... Each other. No. Mm. Loggerhead at Gashagwa. With Gashagwa. Now you see every Kikuyu is defending their children. Don't call our children Mungiki. Mm, Don't they call our children Mungiki. Yeah. So who is calling them Mungiki? Gashagwa alone. So is the community with him? Well. <laughs> is the community with him? Okay. The entire community is not him. And uh, you know this government, government, they know how to do things. They will shoot two, three, four, five boys and say they are mungiki. Then who said? Uh, who is killing your children? Who told you come there? Who is killing your children? This is man. I told him to stop this thing. He said, no, he must finish them. I'm the one protecting you. <laughs> <laughs> So or you would advise him to stop calling to stop diarrhea. Mm. Mm. Verbal diarrhea that is. Mm. Verbal diarrhea. And um, and they, and they, I know his wife is a pastor. Uh, to sit down the wife and listen to her if she if they ever talk mm. and they seek God direction. Mm. And they see the trap ahead of them. You mean there is a trap? Yes, that is a trap. What have you been discussing is a trap. He has been trapped. Mungiki has been brought on board to trap. There is no Mungiki. There is no Mungiki. Mm. If there was, I will be the one in charge. I will tell you, this is happening because of this. There is no Mungiki. It's a balloon that has... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and the media is very much on it. Have you seen of late? Media stations they are calling minor for interviews. Yeah, I've seen it. Is that normal? According you've been in the media. <laughs> it's a balloon being uh -huh. so that this monster can be monster uh -huh. can be created to swallow this man. Does he have any way out from this trap? Yes. What should he do? Rush back home. Very fast. Go back to the central people. Yes. And reconcile. And make them your pira. They will shield you. The good thing with the Kikuyus. Uh, you go, you surrender to them, they make you a king. Where does he need to Kikuyus start? Kikuyus don't have a king. Uh, but who is there? No. Kikuyus, we have never had a king existing. Uh -huh. Kikuyus, we form a king on a need basis. basis. Yeah. Yes. Uhuru became a king because of ICC. Uh -huh. Kibaki became a king because he wanted to remove Moi. Moi. Uh -huh. Kenyatta became a king because of Mau Mau. Uh -huh. There is no king in uh -huh. Kikuyu. But I'm the kingpin. Uh -huh. I'm what? There is nothing. Kikuyus are not like Luos. We have Raila. Uh -huh. Raila made him to the people. Uh -huh. He made himself to people. We make a king. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so anybody tomorrow can wake up in the morning and find Dora Waruige is the king of the Kikuyu. Mm. So for Gashago, where does he need to start? Should he start from Nyeri? Should, where does Should, he... Wherever he wants to start, he called the Wazes, mm -hmm. the elders, the political class, business people, call them. Sit down with them. Go say, I'm sorry. Tell but, them I'm sorry. Kikuyus, they love that. Even if you had done the worst. You go back to them and say, I'm very sorry. Uh, Forgive me. They will embrace you and the next minute they will make you a king. So, if he only needs to champion the interests of the Kikuyus and bring the Kikuyus But do you think he will do it? He can't. He's so proud. Pride. Pride is full of him. <laughs> <laughs>